Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial series on hands-on unsupervised learning with TensorFlow. In this tutorial series, we aim to build models that help us solve unsupervised machine learning problems. My name is Mahsa Lutfi and I got my bachelor's, master's, and PhD degrees in electrical engineering, signal processing branch. My fields of research and also my fields of interest include machine learning, data compression, which is also called compressive sensing, and of course, digital signal processing. So here's a summary of what we will discuss in this course. In section one, we will explain about getting started with unsupervised learning, and we will also set up the coding environment for the next sections. Section two covers the most common unsupervised learning approach called clustering. We will also learn about its implementation using TensorFlow. Section 3 is about principal component analysis and its implementation. In section 4, we are going to explain more about anomaly detection, and also we will learn about its implementation using TensorFlow. Section 5 is about autoencoders and how to implement it. In section 6, we will cover the basics of deep belief networks and their implementation. Section 7 is about generative adversarial network and its implementation using TensorFlow. And at the end, in section 8, we will discuss about self-organizing maps and their implementation using TensorFlow. In this tutorial, we will examine different unsupervised learning methods and try to solve practical problems using TensorFlow platform. In unsupervised learning, the artificial intelligence systems try to categorize the unlabeled and unsorted data based on the similarities and differences that exist among data. In unsupervised learning, methods generate models based on data, which makes it possible to deal with complex and more difficult problems compared to supervised learning. So who are the potential audience of this course? This course is targeted for data scientists, machine learning researchers, and data analysts, students in computer science, business and engineering majors, and all other machine learning enthusiasts. While this course is self-explanatory, Prior average knowledge in programming with Python and overall knowledge about machine learning and supervised learning is kind of essential. So let's move on and get started. 